Welcome to this week's episode of Table Knights Tabletop Pokemon. I am Tyler Malter, your league champion and DM. Uh, with me, as always, we have... John Reed. I play Ilana Musk, the female Pokemon researcher. I have Sting, the Nidorino, Prowler, the Alolan Vulpix, and Zoolander, the Zubat. I'm Sean Murphy, and I play Cliff Bridges. I have Morrow, the Cubone, <clears throat> Kruger, the Scyther, Dahmer, the Jigglypuff, and... Jeff Goldblum, the Bulbasaur. In the PC. Yeah, mm-hmm. in the Cosmos. Just making sure people didn't think you accidentally like had it on you or something. Should I not even talk about <clears throat> my Bulbasaur? That'd be best. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Zachary Burks. I play Shasta Claire, the Pokemon trainer. I have a Poliwag named Vinny, a Venomoth named The Thing, and a Clefairy named Pinksta. Back to you. Thank you. This evening we have... Uh, Thanks, Zach. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> to recap, um, you guys were most recently um, waking up in Cerulean City. J. Ball Jr. said to visit him whenever you're in Saffron City next. Uh, he left on his big bird. And then uh, you guys decided to go separate ways from each other. Cliff, you wanted to go uh, south of town to the Pokemon Daycare because you wanted to leave your Bulbasaur behind. I <laughs> wanted to see what it was all about <clears throat> and maybe make my Bulbasaur better while I was gone. Sure. So, And in doing so, um, your Bulbasaur was way too cute and you couldn't let it go. And you kept your Bulbasaur. I did. <clears throat> wasted a half hour of your own time. Yeah. And are now back at Cerulean City. Yes, sprinting. Uh, on the pathway to the Rock Tunnel to head to Lavender Town, we have Shasta and Alana who started traveling together, but after running into a hiker, um, Alana decided to fight, and Shasta decided to just keep walking. Well, I'm trying undefeated, to by the way. Uh, uh, undefeated. Uh, so you're defeated. What? No feet. No, undefeated. You don't know that. So neither of you know that. Alana lost a battle, but apparently no one else knows that. Yep. Uh, Shasta is a ten-minute walk ahead of Alana. Ilana is 10 minutes from Cerulean City, and Cliff is at Cerulean City. It's like a hundred episodes of Dragon Ball away. <laughs> yeah. So Snake Way is a very, very long pathway. I start powering up. <laughs> <laughs> so Well, you were defeated. No, yeah. I was Yeah, you, you are stronger now When I than catch you up were. to Shasta, I tell her I beat the hell out of that guy. Oh, I'm sure you <laughs> did. Yeah. And Arcanine's just shaking its head no. I'm sure that's also, why I guess, laughing. I guess I should mention, there's an Arcanine that has taken a liking <laughs> to uh, presumably Ilana that you guys ran into on your way to the power plant recently. Um, so that Arcanine is also traveling with you and is currently with Ilana. So, what's up guys? I'm running. You're just going to keep running? Bolted it. Okay. Um, Aren't you going back to Pallet Town? Might as well call me Michael because I'm Pewter City? <laughs> No. You're so you're headed towards us? Yeah. Okay. Why well, are you disappointed about that? Well, no, I was just making sure. Cool. You were heading in the right direction. Yeah, no, I know the right direction. <clears throat> I'm a Pokemon Ranger. Okay. That's true. What are Please. the chances he runs into a hiker who looks absolutely defeated? Zero uh, percent, because the only hiker that's on the pathway is very elided yeah. by the fact that he uh, whoops some little girl's ass. No, yeah. <laughs> Careful, though. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> It's only what you read into it, guys. Careful. What? Hey. Anywho, I have to cross this guy. Sure, yeah. So on your jog towards uh, the rock tunnel, you you come across a hitchhiker who is just very glee. He's he's holding on to his uh, his backpack, then his straps, and he's just like walking, and he's whistling, and he's just super stoked. And uh, he's finally got to the point where there's just like a downhill view and he can see the town at the base of a large hill so he knows he's on the right path he knows that he's almost home free and he just beat somebody in a pokemon battle is that sir the way you came is that the way to the rock tunnel yes it is excellent we're i'm about to travel in there myself is there anything i should know before i go in uh only that there is a 16 year old girl who i just beat the shit out of (laughs) that's it (laughs) sir I'm gonna. We need to roll for initiative. All he did was tell me he fought a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. Okay. 
that we got a word for people like you where I come from, and it ain't dad. Yeah, it's champion. <clears throat> Man, my graveler beat that Nidorino so hard. <clears throat> and I'm going to put my dice down. <laughs> you don't have dice. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> a Nidorino, you say? That's right. I can't wait to see one of those. Some little smart mouth girl talking to me and uh, just pulled my graveler out, beat that Nidorino. Her Arcanine just watched the whole time. Arcanine? That's right. It was awesome. You saw an Arcanine? <clears throat> I did. Man, I've never seen one of those before. I heard they're legendaries, but I'm told otherwise. Fantastic. Well, I'm, I better get going. Yeah. You have a good time in pewter. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just keeps walking. Starts whistling again. He's very excited. He's got a Pokeball out that he's petting, like, very proud of it. It's kind of creepy, too. Yep. Pretty weird. And he just walks right on to Cerulean City. All right. <clears throat> so, you are uh, you are now halfway to where the battle took place. Wow. So, you're like a five-minute run from the town. Yeah, because I'm jogging. Yep. Alana, are you just walking back to uh, the, the rock tunnel? Uh, the rock yeah, tunnel? I was just heading to the kitchen with her. Okay. Ditto. And um, ditto. there's there no ditto. No ditto. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Shasta, you uh, you are making your way to the rock tunnel. Mm-hmm. Um, way you're. Okay. We're gonna progress. You're running still, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Da-da-da-da. We're gonna progress a little bit further, and you have now caught up to Ilana, who is walking. What's so, that? You left me. Did you breed your Bulbasaur? Breed him? Yeah. It was a daycare. Do you oh. breed babies? Oh my god. I thought that was the same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna keep running. <laughs> right on past. Is that real? Yeah, watch out for a cave guy if you go backwards. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you continue running. Apparently the daycare. <clears throat> And the breeding center are two different things in this game. Well, I assume they are, but I don't know that. Yeah, <laughs> they're the same thing. You just made it sound like babies have sex. <laughs> so I mean, um, so <laughs> you you see Cliff, you mm-hmm. you're with him for a split second. Yeah, and then he's like, he just starts running again. Are you gonna just keep walking like normal or chase after him? Or? Can I? Am I small enough to ride on the back of the Arcanine? Is the Arcanine huge? I hadn't considered that. It's a large... It's, it's, a large, it's pretty big. Is that going to burn? The show, right? Sure. Is that going to burn you? It'll be warm. Yeah, all right. It's like a, like a hug. Like a seat never, warmer. It's like a Cozy. hug that never stops. Yeah. <clears throat> I jump on its back. Whoa, you don't even like... <laughs> give me a... <laughs> give me a strength... What is it called on here? Athleticism? Uh, yeah, give me an athleticism check. One, <clears throat> one, one. Yeah. Eight. Okay, and then give me a Pokemon communication check. Twelve plus two for charisma. Oh, that's right. Fourteen total. Okay. So I don't think that's how we do it. Doesn't that's matter. Not how you, do it. you beat it. You got a twelve. That's fine. Um, so you guys, <clears throat> so you jump on it, uh, and you're able to hold on to it. And the Arcanine understands what it's saying. Mm-hmm. You and, let it ride an Arcanine with an eight, and it's absolutely telling you, uh, or it's absolutely knows that you are telling it to chase down Cliff and tackle him. So oh, no. the Arcanine just starts sprinting after Cliff, who has made it a couple feet or a couple hundred yards ahead of you, oh um, and he's sprinting. Uh, and Cliff, I'm gonna need you to just give me a base d20 roll. Twenty. Okay. You you hear <laughs> the Arcanine running after you. Yes. You know it's on its way. Uh huh. So you turn around, and at the last second. You're able to jump out of the way, and the Arcanine starts sliding at a stop. However, give me another d20 roll. 13. Do I get my athleticism? No. This is for Dahmer, the Jigglypuff. Oh my god! Who gets barreled over. No, are you kidding me? Yeah. So, Dahmer doesn't hear the Arcanine as well as you do. And it's surprised when you jump sideways from it. I rolled a 20. I should be able to save the Dahmer. And it turns around. Okay, you can save the Dahmer. That's right, I do. Yeah. We use performance, so, and I, I grab him in my arms. No, you push him the opposite direction oh, that you jump. Oh, that's less... Yep. Okay. So... I saved him. Yep. So the Dahmer gets out of the way of the Arcanine, uh, and you get out of the opposite direction. The Arcanine slides to a stop. Uh, Ilana on its back. Mm-hmm. What would you like to do? 
tell the Arcanine to just keep running <clears> to <throat> the rock tunnel. Okay. Go ahead and give me a, a Pokemon communication check. Excellent. Seven. Okay. Do you level uh, charisma no. again? It's not charisma. It's oh, just, just okay, basic. Five. Um, it turns around to run back at Cliff again. I say <clears> stop. <throat> rock tunnel. tunnel. <laughs> what are you doing to me? It's gone forever. One. It uh, <laughs> it throws you off in its bucking to get back to Cliff. Okay. And it tackles Cliff. And at this point, it has Cliff pinned down with its paws on both shoulders. Uh huh. And it is profusely licking your face. Yeah. I'm gonna get all excited about it. I'm gonna tell him he's a good boy. I'm gonna rub behind his little ear, and I'm just gonna communicate with the. the I'm just gonna love all of them. Yeah. So the. <laughs> The Arcanine uh, backs off, and it's all happy. It's tail's wagging. Yeah. It does kind of like the downward, like it's going to pounce, like it's ready to keep playing. I'm, I'm going to try to mimic it. I'm going <clears> to so, mimic all of its movements. Um, <laughs> you guys are playing, Alana. Are you going to... I'm going to start walking towards the rock tunnel, finally happy <laughs> that the Arcanine is no longer sniffing my butt with every step. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Let's go back to Shasta. I guess um, I'm still walking. Yeah, you are uh, continuing to walk to the rock tunnel. <clears throat> and um, as you're walking, you start hearing a weird, like, knocking noise. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost like a bag of sand hitting, like, a tree. Mm. Like, it doesn't sound like, it's not like a... It's Jason. You know, it's more like a... Pah, 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 hitting a tree. <clears throat> so you hear that, and it sounds like it's coming from just, like, maybe 20 or 30 yards from you. Uh, into the tree line. Um, so you hear that and you kind of take notice of it, uh, but you know that you're still, you know, on your path mm-hmm. to the rock tunnel. So what would you like to do? Uh, I'd like to scream out, Hello? Is anything there? Sure. Maybe and use my... the knocking stops at the point where you start speaking. Mm. I guess I'll just keep walking. <laughs> well, Sounds great. The mystery is solved. <laughs> yep. uh, so you will continue walking to um, the rock tunnel. Cliff, are you running? Yeah, we're playing, but we're, we're booking it. Okay, so you guys are moving quickly. Yeah. Um, and Alana, you're just walking? Or yeah. are you going to keep pace with him? He's running? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm just walking. Okay. You get to the point. You, Cliff. I'm just, sorry, audio podcast. Yes. Yeah. You, Cliff, get to... The same area of the woods where you hear a knocking and it sounds like you know a bag of sand hitting like a tree it's like a thick bah, bah, bah. man my, so, yeah i'm definitely going to be perturbed by that i'm going to investigate <clears throat> sure um so it's just like 20 or 30 yards oh in the tree line uh just off the path and um you you can walk up to that area yes so is that what you do in the uh-huh. arcanine is with you. Yeah. Jigglypuff is next to you. Absolutely. So you got an Arcanine on one side. And a Dahmer. Dahmer, the Jigglypuff on the other. Yeah. <clears throat> and you're walking into More the tree. Give me a D20 check for, uh, this is just going to be like a, a perception check. Can I roll nature? Um, no. No. Oh, it's a five then. <clears throat> it's a five. Okay. So you know that you're getting close to the noise. Yeah. But you can't make out what it is. Oh, see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my, my nature skills, though. And I'm going to knock a tree mm-hmm. so I can kind of get a sense of like what it sounds like, the cacophony sure. in the forest. Sure. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another effort. Really okay, then go ahead and give me a nature check. That's, that's a, yeah, I just had to find a way. That's a seven. It's a Roll seven? Five again. Oh, my God, again. Okay. Yeah. That's, um, that's actually <clears throat> multiplies it. It's exponential. Nope. Mm-hmm. So you knock on, on like, a tree, uh-huh. and you know that whatever it is that's hitting a tree mm-hmm. isn't the same, you know, like, makeup of your fist. Yeah. Um, Dahmer is hitting the tree, and it sounds a little bit more similar. Okay. But not quite there. I'm going to try to mimic to the Arcanine. Is Arcanine interested at all in this this event? Arcanine is paying more attention to you. And whatever it is, it's making this makes noise. sense. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use exploring. I'm gonna explore. Sure, give me an exploring check. Eleven. Okay, so in looking around and trying to figure out where where the actual sound is coming from versus the echo yes. that's bouncing off all these trees and everything, 
um, you start getting closer to the source of the noise. Heck yeah, I'm just going to keep going that way. So uh, as you get there, you find an ivy sore smashing a vine whip against a tree. I knew it. Just... <sighs> And it's just taking turns with each of its two vines hitting after these trees. I'm going to be like, buddy. I'm going to get kind of down on this level and be like, buddy, what's wrong? So it's going to turn and look at you. And it's going it, to, it looks up at you. And then it looks down at the Jigglypuff. And it re- rears its vines back. And then it looks at the Arcanine. And then its vines whip back in and it books it away. Oh, I'm going to chase and it. And it starts running through the forest. Heck yeah, chase it. Perfect. It. So give me a d20, and we're going to do... Uh, athleticism? Just, yeah, athleticism check. <clears throat> 11. Okay. So you are going on the right path. Yes. And you're following it, and you don't lose sight of it. Give me another check. 10. Okay. Uh, you're, you're still hot on its heels. One more check. 10. Perfect. <laughs> um, so you're able to catch up to it. Yes. And actually <laughs> jump forward and grab onto its hind legs. Yes. And the Arcanine is right next to you. Uh-huh. Dahmer is a little bit further behind. It's very tired. Particularly about having walked. rough. Yeah, it's, it ran all the way to the daycare. But it spent a lot of time on its feet. It's a- All the way to Cerulean City. Yeah. All the way to wherever this Ivasaur is. Yeah. And then through the jungle. It's winded. It is it's not a, doing too well. It is a gym leader, <clears throat> master. Yeah, not well enough. Um, so you're able to hold on to the back legs of the Ivasaur. Uh-huh. And it's like scurrying away from you with its front paws trying to dig into the dirt and get some type of grip to be able to pull away from you. Give me another athleticism check. This is like a grapple check. <clears throat> Nat 20. Nat 20. You're able to grab the Ivasaur uh-huh. and hold it by its back legs. Yes. And it's not going anywhere. But I'm also trying to like confirm <clears throat> to it that like, buddy, we are we are buds. Sure. We are cool. So you hold it up by one foot and you start rubbing its belly oh my god i do it immediately calms down yeah it does it's it's so calm and it had its vines out again yeah and they just they just drink just drape just out his spine yeah and and you start and its other leg that you're not holding on to starts kicking really hard Uh uh-huh you know it's just ivy 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 oh yeah Um, and the arcanine comes up and starts smelling its belly and um, all he's all, it's yeah, belly. Everyone's excited about this type of sword. It's good. I'm not. <clears throat> so, <laughs> why not? I'm going to try to catch him. Say. Okay, go for it. <laughs> it's going to require two checks. Uh, I Just a 13 for trying to throw at it. Um, Yeah, that hits. Yes, okay. So now I've got to do the D10s. Um, yeah, the percentile. Yep. The percentile. That's a fat eight. That's an eight. Oh, my friend. The Pokeball bounces off of its belly. Oh. Um, I bet, it, but I'm a real good buddy of it. Maybe I can yeah. try again. Uh, it, you have it held captive. Yeah, I'm going to try one more you time. You can try as often as you want. I'm going to try one more time. Oh, my God. Uh, 43. And I am going to... I'm going to beef it a little bit. I'm going to use my encouragement points. Sure. How many are you going to use? I'm going to beef it two points up to 45. Okay. Like 45 is a, is a threshold for people that are making thresholds. You capture the Ivysaur. Da, da, da. Uh, the Ivysaur da, goes da, into the ball. Da, da. Yeah. And it shakes in your hand. Mm. And, and you know it's not getting out of that one. As soon as it's, <clears throat> I know it, I'm pulling him back out. He's going to meet the, he's gonna meet the clan. So and, and <laughs> as soon as it ding. Um, it starts to vaporize into the sky. No! So, and it <laughs> disappears, and it is now in your PC. No! So. Okay, that's fine. Back on the trail. <laughs> uh, so, you uh, make your way back to the trail. Give me an exploration check. The <laughs> four. Okay. <laughs> this is the worst ranger ever. Yeah. Um, give me another one. Yeah. A uh, 10. Okay. This die so is gone. <laughs> you head back to the trail. Uh-huh. Um, but you aren't at the same spot as Alana. You look uh, further up the trail as it's heading into the mountain range. Uh, and you notice just the top of Alana's head. Um, at the, like the, it, the hill goes up and at the crest of the hill, you see that Alana has just passed that. And she's 
probably 300 yards ahead of you. Maybe 200 yards ahead of you. Oh, my goodness. So you can realistically yeah, see her. Yeah, shout at her. Ilana! Sure. What? Now, Ilana, you hear this, mm-hmm. but it's up to you what happens. I, I caught a vine smash! <laughs> can I have it? Maybe! <laughs> okay, I'll trade you the Arcanine. No, he's mine already! <laughs> The Arcanine's tail starts wagging. It heard its name. It's stoked. <clears throat> so, uh, do you want to wait and catch up? Do sure, you want to run I'll up wait. to him? Yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah. Her. Okay. Perfect. So, you guys meet back up. Um, and you are at the top of a large hill. Um, it goes down into a valley. And directly in front of you is a very large mountain in the middle of, like, um, a round circular mountain range. And um, you guys go through, like, you see the pathway, and you see just outside of the mountain is a Pokemon Center, and just outside of that Pokemon Center is Shasta Claire, and she enters the Pokemon Center. So, you're at the Pokemon Center, um, at the mountain. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. I guess you don't have to enter the Pokemon Center if you don't want to. No, I'll I'll enter. No, because that... That was me storytelling to catch you guys back up. Oh. It's your decision. You can go into the mountain if you want. You know what? I, I have a goal, a mission. I'm going to go in that mountain. All right. Or that cave, tunnel, whatever. Keep the party split. All right. Yeah. So um, you walk into the rock tunnel, um, and you immediately notice that it is very dark mm-hmm. and extremely cold. You need my candle. Having been... <laughs> <laughs> Just to remind everyone, Cliff's candle... Stick of dynamite. Um, you've been in Mount Moon. Mm-hmm. And you've actually been in the rock tunnel before because you came from uh, Lavender Town. Right. So you know what rock tunnel feels like. And you also know slightly how to navigate it. But it feels abnormally cold compared to what you're normally used to. Um, so that is what you feel as you enter um, the rock tunnel. I guess, because you're saying it's really dark, but I, I would, like, s- try to just scope out the area and see if I can see anything that's kind of just sure. amiss. Realistically, you can only see about 15 feet in front of you, yeah. maybe 20 feet Ooh. in front of you. It's really dark. Um, you're in a large open area because you entered the cave, mm-hmm. and the cavern is open, um, so there is sunlight coming through. It's midday. It's, like... 145 in the afternoon, you know, two o'clock. Mm-hmm. So realistically, it's very bright outside. Um, but as you walk in, about 45 feet in front of you is almost pitch black. Um, and you know that as you go further into the cave, your your uh, vision is going to be significantly reduced. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Someone can really use a Bulbasaur right now to get through that darkness. I've got two. <laughs> the big Bulbasaur, the little Bulbasaur. Little, Don't yep. remind me. Yep, Biggie Smalls and Tupac. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, they hate each other. Yeah. <laughs> and so do here, Ivasaur and Bulbasaur. They do. If it's the same Ivasaur as well. Oh man, I need to catch the other one then. Yeah, yeah. we don't know. Make a set. <laughs> uh, I guess could I use my proficiency in nature to just feel around? Like, just as I'm making my way in, and it's getting darker, and I just have to, like... Yeah, you, have, you with your nature, you um, you can walk in and start trying to navigate your way through um, the mm-hmm. cavern, if you would like. Yeah. Definitely. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, we'll do that. Perfect. Okay, we're going to hold there. You guys are at the top of this hill. Um, you see Shasta walk through, um, walk down the hill, Um what do you guys want to do? Let's go to the Poke Center. We're absolutely going to the Poke Center. Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah. That's what any why would, person would do. Why absolutely. would, Alana, why would you want to go to the Pokemon Center? Uh, well, I've been walking for a while, and I need to take a break. I would like some coffee. It's been like an hour. I've been yeah. sprinting. I'll tell you who can't walk right now. Who's that? Huh. The Jiffy Puff? No. Begins with an N and ends with an O. I, hit it. I used to revive on him. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Like, he decided It's to got fight. half health, though. Because <laughs> yeah. revives only... Hundred poke worth of it still can't resources. get over the, the loss though. Yeah, I'm undefeated. Yeah, the revive does nothing for its pride. 
I told him to take the fall. He jobbed for the graveler so that the ass went down to the fifth. So because I gave the, I gave the trainer or the hiker some enthusiasm to help him get to the town. That's what happened. You're a really nice person. Yeah, you, uh, you, you re- and it worked too because he was all sorts of peppy when See, he ran. I know what I'm doing. It's lawful good. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So we're in the we're in the. Uh, so you guys head to the Pokemon Center. Center. We're yeah. going to go back to Shasta. Um, Shasta, you start making your way through the tunnel. Um, as you're walking, you almost immediately run into a woman who is uh, kneeling down in the ground and she has like her backpack laid out next to her with a lot of supplies and things um, all laid out and she's like feeling around frantically in the dirt um, almost like she's looking for something she lost <clears throat> hey did you lose something yes Hello. what'd you lose <laughs> yes I did <laughs> that's none of your business well, unless you're wanting help. to help me uh, I'm fine, and I can handle it on my own. No, I can help. It's it's no big deal. Well, I'm, I'm making my people. way through here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was me being a dick. Is your pack heavy? <laughs> <laughs> you, you want me to give me some of that stuff? <laughs> How about we split whatever we find? Um, <laughs> of course. <yeah. laughs> so, I can um, help you free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's very kind of you, young lady. Um... Yeah, I, I dropped, I had a Pokeball, and it had one of my Pokemon in it, mm-hmm. and I can't find it, and this is the last place I had it. Mm-hmm. So, I know it's really embarrassing, and you're not supposed to, like, misplace an entire Pokemon, but I just cannot find my Pokeball. Well, I'm going to help you, because Pokemon are very important to me, because I'm a trainer. So. Good. I would um, hate to lose my Pokemon. Do you have any Pokemon that could light up the area so we could see better? I don't. You're a trainer who went into the dark rock tunnel and you don't have any Pokemon. I've been here before. I know my way around. Like Man, Flash like a great idea. <laughs> or any fire moves. I'm having a, I'm having a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, we, we both are actually. Yeah, In double. Fact, show me that Ivysaur. Let's see what you got out there. <laughs> oh man! Does it do any tricks yet? It does. Oh, <laughs> you hold it up by its yeah, and I rub its belly. I oh, do the yeah. trick for it. <laughs> well, here. How about you and me make our way out of the, the tunnel? Without your Pokeball. Without your Pokeball. <laughs> and let's see if we can, like, find some help, find someone who can aid us. Look, in looking I for already left this area Did without you? my Pokeball before I realized it was gone. I only came back here because this is the last place I had it, and I know it has to be here. So why don't you go out and find someone who can help us look? I'm going to keep looking for my Pokemon. I'm not abandoning it again. Thank you Good. for steering me in the GR right direction. I, we gotta find your owner sometime. You're just wandering out here all along. I'm gonna rub its belly. <laughs> and I'm gonna rub my belly! So yeah. what Pokemon are you putting back in the PC to be able to... That one. My Scyther? Well, then you put the Cubone back in. It's probably gonna be my Cubone. Yeah, it's the lowest level. It's level 18. <clears throat> in the Pokemon Center, you can have a Pokemon out that is in the PC. Yes. It doesn't count as your three. Yeah. But as soon as you leave the Pokemon Center, uh-huh. you would have to swap out one of your Pokemon. I don't want to make that decision yet. Okay. That's I'll make fine. it for you. <clears throat> I'll put my my Zoolander up. And then you can have my Ivysaur? Absolutely. I don't think that's a good good deal. <laughs> yeah, what what did he get out of that? <laughs> you offered a trade that was like, I'm going to trade your Pokemon for my Pokemon. That goes to back the in the PC. It's on consignment. Yeah. It's on consignment. <laughs> you want to pay me to use my Ivysaur? <clears throat> You may be able to afford putting that Bulbasaur in the day. Hundred dollars a day. <laughs> oh, holy it's shit! It's twenty a day. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. So well, it's an Ivysaur. Okay. Um, so you guys are sitting comfortably yep, in the Pokemon Center. Belly rubs and pumpkin spice latte. Just hanging out. But I am looking. Is there anybody <clears throat> like talking about the rock tunnel or or things? Because I want to. I am inquisitive enough to learn where I'm going, like where my surroundings are going to be. Sure. It's actually almost empty. Oh. Um, there's only one other person inside of um, the Pokemon Center, and the um, attendant of the center is healing Pokemon at the time. 
Um, and that, that woman is sitting at a nearby table. I'm going to, with the Bulbasaur, one, one arm, one leg Ivysaur. hanging, Ivysaur. I mean... <clears throat> Got Same him. difference. You got Same both. Got Why don't you have one in each arm? Right, I know. And I'm gonna walk over to him, and I'm gonna be like, "Look at my buddy." Yeah, that, that's very nice. <laughs> what are you it's doing at the Ivy rock tunnel? Store. My name's Cliff. Uh, my name is Tyler. <laughs> There's a lot of Tylers. Yeah. Oh I'm so bad at coming up with names. Really? You can only come up with your own name. <laughs> it's amazing. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> that's not my name. It's Tyler. Yep. <laughs> What brings you around uh, here? No. Her name is Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <clears throat> she just says, like, you know, I'm, I just came because um, I heard that there were rare Pokemon in this part of the forest. Um, so I was coming. Yeah, it's, it's a very nice Agnes. Have you ever seen one of these? Um, yes, I saw a few of them. There were two of them uh, that were chasing a Bulbasaur around yesterday. I've got the Bulbasaur. <clears throat> So you have the Bulbasaur. Uh-huh. And then you have an Ivysaur. Boop, 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 boop. Is it... Did I run over and you get it? And then I could bring her out. I bring out the other Bulbasaur. Did you run into them? Did I make them a kiss? <laughs> 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 the Ivysaur's vine uh-huh. comes up and smacks the Bulbasaur. Oh, oh no. no. And the Bulbasaur's like, Bala! Oh, my gosh. Real sad. And then I'm going to poke. I'm going to poke kind of mean at the belly of the Ivysaur. You only have two hands. I know, but I'm going to like... So you have both of them. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to put the Bulbasaur down. Okay, and so the Bulbasaur sits down. Well, me poke Ivysaur. Uh-huh. So we don't do that to family. And then I'm going to... And it vine whips your hand. Oh, my God. It's so mean to me. I take all his belly. And it, it starts kicking its leg again. And, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. We're good. All right. Okay. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, so... Oh. um. <laughs> just threw him behind my shoulder. Taylor asks you, um, did you did you run into two Ivysaur beating up a Bulbasaur and just catch the two enemies? Well, I caught one, and then I found the other one today. So is that the Ivysaur that was beating up the Bulbasaur? It seems like they don't like each other. I think that that's a fair assessment. Yep. Um, so yeah, she just um, continues making the small talk. Um, that's talking great. About have you ever been in the rock tunnel? Uh, no, I haven't actually. I came from um, Saffron, no, Vermilion. Came from Vermilion City uh, up to um, check out the forest here. Wow, well, so, have a good time. Thanks, you too, Cliff. It was yep. nice meeting you. Bye, Tyler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, as you're saying bye, the, um, the attendant at the Pokemon Center says, Ma'am, your uh, your Pokemon, and she picks up three Pokeballs, put them on her belt, heads for the door. So, um, in that time, as you guys are hanging out, drinking your pumpkin spice lattes, and talking to Taylor, um, Shasta, you exit the cave and go to the Pokemon Center and notice that there's an Arcanine obediently laying outside waiting. Um, I wonder it, who's here. It's got its head in its hands, and it notices you, and, and it sits up, and its tail starts wagging really excitedly. I'm going to pet him. <clears throat> so, yeah. yeah, you walk up, and it puts its head in your hand. Yeah, it's really boy. excited. So, yep. I'm going to barge in. Okay. Barge. So, <laughs> door slams. Guys. Glass shatters. I went on my own. You did. I messed up. Uh-huh. I'm super sorry. I can't split the group. But there's someone in the cave. And they've lost their Pokemon in the Pokeball. Cliff caught an Ivysaur. <laughs> <laughs> Tickle his belly. Uh, uh, and it's like starts going. I start to turn around. <laughs> Hello, and darkness, just... my old friend. Wait, don't go without this. And I throw Cliff's candle at him. <laughs> you have my candle? <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Hold it out of your pocket. <laughs> you, you're a grifter. You, like, steal from me. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Lawful good, huh? No, yeah, lawful good. But guys, there's someone that like needs our help in the cave. Oh, well, we have to go now. That sounds like a job for our Arcanine, tomorrow. who knows fire moves. <laughs> what is she? Right. Sure, she. Uh, so she left the cave. Uh-huh. Realized that her uh, Pokemon, which was in her, still in its Pokeball, was gone. So the last place that she was at was at the cave. So she went back to the cave, and now she can't find the Pokeball. That sucks. It does. Well, I'm gonna run in. Let's go help her. Yeah, Let's go. Arcanine. We're going. To the rescue. Sure. So you guys run into the cave and yes. it's completely dark. Arcanine, fire spin. Oh my. So go ahead and uh, give me a Pokemon communication check. 
13. Yeah, it, it's just wagging its tail. It's really happy that you're talking to it. I'm gonna, it's really dark, and I can tell that it's really dark. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to, um, is, there, is there like a twig, or is there anything, like a branch I could find? Not inside of the cave. Not inside no. of the cave. But I'm like near the entrance, right? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you I want to go just... out and find, sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, sort of fashion like a little torch. Sure, give me a exploring check. Exploring check. That's a 13. Okay. So you're able to concoct a type of torch. Uh-huh. Um, and you actually grab a few twigs so that you have backups. Yeah. But you know that they're not going to last very long. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'm going to go back in and I'm going to... Or can I? I'm going to point at the torch and I'm going to go... Bah! Okay. Give me a Pokemon communication check. Aw, uh, three. Yeah. Does nothing. Bah. Shasta, tell this thing to spit some fire. Sale. You got it. Hey, Arcanine, why don't you spit some little hot fire on that twig? Starts wrapping him in a 10. That's pretty good. It's a 10? It's a 10. Okay, that works. Oh, cool. So, um, I got a 13. Bah. You can't Arcanine... communicate with anything. Arcanine doesn't like you. Yeah. <laughs> you shot on his back and bucked, it, bucked you off. Uh -huh. The Arcanine spits out just like a of fire. Uh, and it goes on to the um, little torch. The torch, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, How about that? Um, the torch is now lit. And you guys are like 25 feet from where this woman is still frantically. She's like picking up rocks and looking under them. Hey, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> but she keeps looking up. Uh, like like in the up, sky? up at the top of the cavern. And then she's like looking around at the ground some more. And then she like kind of looks up and around and then. Back at the ground some more. Ma'am, those <laughs> rocks are not Pokemon, but we're here to help you find yours. Thank you. I need all the help I can get. Well, the roof you've got... is not on fire. It's just our torch. <clears throat> Do you believe you dropped the Pokeball? I'm almost certain that I did. Well, when I, I explore. When I came in this cave um, earlier, a swarm of Zubats attacked me right here. And I had all of my Pokemon... And we were fighting off the swarm, and I called all of them back, put them on my belt, and just ran and tried to get away from the swarm of Zubats. And that was the last time I had my Pokemon. And when I got halfway through the cave, I realized that one of them was gone. It has to be here. It has to be. Hey, uh, Alana, don't you have a, a Zubat? Wouldn't know some, like, sonar? Maybe find something? Could that work? Maybe. Well, just deciding whether she wants know. to help. Yeah. Zoolander, go. <laughs> right. So you let out your Zubat. Yep. Uh, and the woman immediately like backs up and like. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Yeah. She's this, like, this oh my god, Zubat. Oh, yeah. This is Zoolander, the Zubat. <clears throat> Have some respect. Uh, and I explain. And your, your Zubat like flies and starts attacking her. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my! Uh, <laughs> she just has some <laughs> kind of natural. It's her, it's her hairspray. It's just going after so her. So I say, no. uh, Zoolander, uh, this woman lost her Pokeball after being attacked by a bunch of Zubats. Need you to go and find the Zubats and see if the Pokeball might be around there. Lead us, lead us, Almighty Zoolander. Sure. So the Zoolander, um, the Zoolander, the Zubat starts. Um, Shows blue steel. <laughs> starts flapping its wings, and um, it looks like it's spinning, or it doesn't look like it is. Mm -hmm. It's spinning in the air, facing all directions, like going around and around. Um, you don't hear anything. It's not even saying, you know, like Zubat, Zubat, and nothing like that. You don't hear anything. Um, but as it gets about three quarters of the way around, um, it stops and starts flapping, turns back towards you, Alana. And then um, starts flapping and, and flies off in a, a one of the directions. The cavern is like a, a large, you guys are just past the opening, so it's more of a tunnel. Um, and then in front of you, there's a large pathway. And then in both directions, to the right and left, there's a large pathway. Uh, and it starts flying to the right. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to the right. Sounds like a plan. All right, lady, are you going to stay here? Uh, no, if my <laughs> if my Pokeball is with the Zubats, I'm going to find it. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Your Pokemon's not one of these rocks. Let's go. Okay. So she stands up despite you talking down to her and mansplaining that Pokeballs aren't rocks. Well, she's picking oh, up um, rocks. I, I could I would make mistakes. She's looking under them. But well, I don't know. Good that. job mansplaining. I didn't mansplain. Okay. Get hashtag woke. Cliff is progressive. Oh, is he? Yes. Okay. Um, so you guys follow... 
uh, after the Zubat, um, and it leads you uh, down a series of twists and turns through this this tunnel. Um, Shasta, you know that you have no idea where the hell you're at. This definitely isn't the most efficient path between uh, just north of Lavender Town and the entrance that you guys came through. So you're kind of getting twisty and turny around. Um, <clears throat> Cliff, what ability do you have on your character? Performance. No, like you're you have a you have an actual ability, right? Juggling. No, 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 no. Like, don't no. you have? Doesn't isn't your gotten, class? I haven't gotten an ability yet at level four. I don't believe so. That's you should have got one. Mine's the potion craft. Yeah, his gets to craft. I'm sorry. So you should have one. I'm sorry. And so I'm gonna check real quick. I think I was told maybe that we don't get them at four, and all we get is a new stat point. Um, and that one through that two through four was just a new stat point, and then we get new abilities at five. I thought I remember that. Hmm. Checking real quick. This makes for bad radio, but <clears throat> um. Anyway, so classes. <clears throat> Okay, uh, at four, yeah, you definitely don't. That's what I thought. Yeah, John doesn't have it either. <laughs> yes, I do. That's a level five. That's what I thought. See, I remembered correctly. Inspiration. Uh, no, you guys are all at level five. Ba, ba, ba. So, <laughs> um, what do we get? What do I have? As a trainer, Shasta, yes. you can switch the ability of one of your Pokemon, which I took abilities out. We'll talk. <laughs> it's a workshop. It. Whoops. Workshop ability. Yeah. Um, and then <clears throat> rangers can determine any Pokemon species within 500 feet based on the environment around them. So you can you can tell what kind of Pokemon will be in the area, like what's nat- natural to the area. Okay. Um, and then Ilana has the ability to craft. I'll get with you, Zach. We'll figure it out. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> you guys follow the Zubat and uh, make your way through these caverns. They open wide, and some of them are really narrow. Um, but one thing that's in common with all of them is they continue to get colder, and there are more and more um, stalactites up in the ceiling. Um, and as you guys enter deeper into the cave, um, the Zubat stops and then uh, like turns back towards you, Ilana, and it's um, trying to communicate to you that you guys are here, whatever that means. So as you walk into a very large open cavern, you notice that the back wall of it is completely iced over and there's ice from the top to the bottom of a giant wall and in the center of it is a single doorway carved out of it that looks like it's almost been like blasted through it's not it's not like a round perfect shaped doorway it's like a an opening that's been made by something like a candle not like a candle Mm. like something breaking it with like Something hard, like something punching through it or blasting through it or something like that. <clears throat> Dahmer, we got ourselves a problem. We got to get in that hole. We got to get that Pokeball back. And as you say that, five Zubat drop from the ceiling. And they all start flapping around in front of you guys. Prower, go. Okay. So, uh, Ilana sends Malcolm. out her ice-type Vulpix. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw my Pokeball Pokemon at them too, I guess. <laughs> sure. All of them. All three of them? All three of them. Okay. <clears throat> Come out, friends. All three of you. Alright, Shasta sends out her Pokemon. <laughs> and then your new friend sends out um, one Pokemon, and it's a Machamp. Okay. So the Machamp just, comes just out. Just like that. Machamp. You Holy could have, you could have had got a person in your Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have had the Machamp, like, you know, doing heavy lifting for you or nothing like that. Yeah, and she, she walks up to it and starts petting its bicep. That's pretty weird. She's like, this, this is, is my one, best friend. This is one of those. They like it when you touch their bellies. <laughs> she looks at you weird. And she's like, 
and looks at Machamp, and Machamp, like, his bottom two arms go across his belly, like, don't touch it. <clears throat> You'll come around. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, did I say five Zubat, right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. They're so, so screwed. <laughs> These Zubat cannot be down for this. <laughs> There's five Zubat in front of you. Um, and you guys have all sent out your Pokemon, correct? Yep. Okay, give me initiative rolls. For all the Pokemon? Power got a... Well, just for you as a player. Oh, oh not okay. for all of them. I got a nineteen. Nine. It was worse than the first one, wasn't it? I rolled three times. It was 11, 15, 17, 5. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Prower is up first. Mm-hmm. Um, so, as you send out your your Vulpix, uh, it's standing there. It like assumes the fighting position. The Arcanine runs up and jumps in front of. The Vulpix. And it is going to blast into the air against all of these Zubat. Uh, And it is going to hit with an 18. Uh, And it's going to deal. Best summon ever. It flamethrowers across the sky. I didn't mention them. And I'm going to go Hyper (laughs) Bay! And it hits 16. And the five Zubat all fall to the ground. Oh my god. Uh, but in the flames going into the sky, you guys are able to see the cavern much more clearly. And you notice up in the what would be like the rafters of this cavern, in between all of these different stalactites that litter the top of the cavern, you notice that there are at least 20 Zubat. And there are also a few Golbat and three or four Crobat. And that is where we will end this week's episode of Table Nights Tabletop Pokemon. Oh my god. Wow. I have been your league champion and DM, Tyler Malter. You can find me at TJMalt421. You can find John Reed at... John Reed Art. You can find Sean Murphy at... Chuck Bonsai1. You can find Zach Burks at... Burks Works. You can find us all on Facebook.com slash Table Night, TableNight.com. We're on YouTube, and you can also find us on iTunes and Google Play Music. And we will catch you next week. Hi, Bobby! Same bat time.